Okay, Director Gary. Malaysia 370, thank you. The 777 is one of the most automated airplanes in the world. The crew can simply enter the location of the waypoint into their flight computer. Gary is entered. Please confirm. Execute. Flying a big airplane like the 777 is really managing the airplane because there's not a lot of flying stick and rudder involved. It's a lot of management of a very sophisticated amount of electronics. Malaysian 370's flight path will now take them along the air corridor that runs northeast over the Gulf of Thailand before continuing on to Beijing. The trip takes about six hours. Malaysia 370, maintaining level 350. 20 minutes after takeoff, they reach cruising altitude, 35,000 feet. When you get a big jet up to altitude and you've got her on autopilot, you've leveled off, you've run your cruise checklist, it really is time now to kind of throw the straps off and relax a little bit. The crew will now monitor the autopilot until they're ready to land. Controllers in Kuala Lumpur will only track the plane while it's in Malaysian airspace. About 20 minutes more. As the plane crosses the Gulf of Thailand, controllers in Vietnam will take over. The controller in Kuala Lumpur makes one last transmission at 1.19 a.m. 370, contact Ho Chi Minh. 120, Dexamo 9. Good night. Good night, Malaysian 370. When we found out what was said from the cockpit of Malaysian Flight 370, it was perfectly routine. Absolutely boilerplate. That's what airline pilots and flight controllers say to each other. The crew is expected to contact Vietnamese controllers in less than one minute. But 19 minutes later, there's no word from Flight 370. Malaysian 370, this is Ho Chi Minh. Please contact control. Malaysia Controllers in Vietnam and Malaysia try desperately to reach the missing plane. Malaysia 370, do you copy? Malaysia 370, this is Kuala Lumpur, do you copy? There's no response from the cockpit and no sign of the plane on radar. Flight 370 has vanished without a trace. <laughs>